moving out for a job. Yes, yeah, so we have a van. This is my new room. <laughs> everyone so i'm moving out today the day has come that paige is flying the nest leaving her family home and moving out forever <laughs> this has been quite a long time coming i didn't really ever intend on coming back to live with my parents after university but the pandemic happens and to be honest i'm really grateful to have had somewhere to stay throughout this difficult period where we've all been in lockdowns i've got a lovely bedroom here in my parents house that i've literally been in since i was a baby i've been in this room my whole entire life it's still got the pink sparkly wallpaper but i've outgrown it you know so now i've got the opportunity to move out I am taking that opportunity. I am running with it. I've packed up most of my stuff. It's been a bit of a last minute pack because I've been working all week. I'm moving into a furnished place so I don't have tons and tons of stuff. Like I don't own my own furniture or anything like that. It's just clothing, bedding, kitchen stuff, laptop. Um, I'll show you my packing in a moment. I've just taken it to the next level. Now that I'm, you know, making a proper adult move out, it's not like I'm just going to university for a term. I'm moving out for a job and my young professional life, you know? It's crazy. I am really excited, slightly anxious because you get comfy. As much as I was disappointed to be living with my parents rather than moving out immediately after university, over the past year or so I've got comfy here. I do have friends in my hometown where my parents live and it's going to be sad not seeing them so regularly but I think it's the right move for me so excited. <laughs> and I just want to jump in and say thank you to Lingoda for sponsoring this video. Lingoda is an online language school that that was founded in Berlin in 2013 and they offer classes in English, business English, French, German and Spanish. Students who take on the sprint are challenged to take on classes consistently for three months straight and if you complete them all, you can get up to 100% cash back. That is, Lingoda will refund up to 100% of your course fee if you stick at this intensive language course. I've been trying out a little mini sprint in the last week as Lingoda challenged me to take five classes. Honestly, I've been so impressed with the platform. I decided to try out the French course. I've been attending the hour long classes on Zoom video calls with the native speaking teacher who's so experienced. It's normally a small group. I've actually had one class where it was one on one, just me and the teacher, but normally it's about three students. The lessons are so interactive. They'll be making sure you're speaking throughout the whole lesson. It's been ideal for me because I've been able to book classes around my schedule because obviously I'm really busy at the moment working nine to five but the classes run 24 7 and you can just book a class at a time that suits you. Je m'appelle Paige, je suis un actuaire. So the important details are that you need to sign up by October the 15th for the Lingoda language sprint and it starts on October 31st. Option one is the super sprint, which is 30 classes per month for three months straight. And option two is the sprint, which is 15 classes per month for three months straight. Both courses require a 49 euro or a $59 deposit and this is paid in monthly installments for each plan. If you sign up for the sprint challenge using my link and voucher code in the description box below, you can get 20 euros discount off the deposit. Also, before signing up, please make sure you read through the Lingoda frequently asked questions so you know what you're signing up to, you know what you're committing to, and yeah, Back to the moving video. Let me show you the room now that I've kind of taken out most of the stuff I'm taking. Obviously leaving my big desk here. This I've had since I was at school, like early on in secondary school, I think. Maybe even before that. Yeah, the whole room needs a bit of a redo. I think my parents want to revamp it once I'm gone. I'm getting a double bed at the house I'm moving into. It's my first time ever having a double bed so going up in this world so leaving my single bedding behind lots of books still on the bookshelf because i've read them you know <laughs> don't need to take books i've read well i've got lots of books i haven't read so i've only taken a few books taken my kindle with me or oh, over in this corner is all of my old university work like all of these folders have all of my lecture notes and revision notes and practice questions from my whole time at university that like i don't want to part with i really do want to take time to look at them again in the future but 
especially my third year was so interesting stuff i did astrophysics and space is cool and just because i put so much time and effort into university i don't want to throw my notes away but it might be that like in 10 years time i chuck them away when i haven't looked at them in 10 years we'll see we'll see but I i'm just leaving them here for now like my parents are letting me leave stuff here they're not like you must move out everything i definitely will come back and visit my parents every now and again hopefully they'll leave this room spare for me to move into and not get a lodger in they keep joking about getting the new lodger in and renting out my room and i wouldn't be happy about that i wouldn't be happy other than that the floor's looking pretty clear look at that it's time to get going because it is quarter past eight already and i've got a two hour drive ahead of me to get to where i'm moving to and i'm taking the motorway by myself for the first time i have had more motorway practice since my last video but it's always been with a friend in the car or a family member in the car and now i've literally got to take it with just me and the sat nav it's fine <laughs> I will manage it. My dad is driving up too, but he's driving a van and I'm driving my car because I have quite a lot of stuff. Let me go show you all my stuff. Bye room, sorry I'm leaving you. And close the door on that chapter. Quite dramatic, isn't it? You're gonna be sad. Are you gonna miss me? Well, a little bit, maybe. Just a little bit? A little bit. Are you gonna miss cooking for me in the evenings? No. Are you gonna not. miss doing the laundry? No, I'm not gonna oh. miss it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have a van. <laughs> Luckily, my dad's work has a van that we can use. This is the state of it. So see a few boxes, an ironing board. That's a suitcase of shoes. My clothes are literally all in bin liners just cause it's easier to transport them that way. If we step on in, oh, I just hit my head. There's a bean bag, a hula hoop, kitchen stuff, hangers cushions bedding there's, there's a lot of stuff in here i've even got my sewing machine my clarinet she doesn't travel light but you know i've got to make this place feel like home and if you thought that was all of it then don't be silly we have another car boot full because i'm driving in this car my dad is driving in the van my beautiful pink holographic doc martens my makeup container and lots more stuff here all heading off with me for the big move <laughs> hello hello buster i'm really sad to say goodbye to you this is my family dog and you know i can't take him with me apparently it's really upsetting i love you he's literally my brother i view this dog as my brother i'm leaving buster this is gonna be the saddest day of your year of your year he'll miss me he will miss me like he always gives you the like nicest greeting when you've been away for a while i'm just gonna look forward to the next time i see him because he'll be really excited but you know oh i'm sorry i'm leaving you i'm at the wheel my trusty nissan duke coming with me <laughs> turn of events she's moving back to chapel five <laughs> I'm only kidding guys. Uh, I'm not actually moving back in here. I'm just helping my friend move out of college, but would be nice. I didn't even tell everyone on my vlog that I'm moving to Cambridge. I am moving to Cambridge, just not back to a Jesus college. I'm, I'm not going back to uni. That was hard work. I'm moving in with a few of my friends that I met here at Jesus college. Um, a couple of them are still in their rooms here at the moment and moving out today. Exciting times. My dad and I Hello. are gonna go grab coffee. My dad is the removal man. He's been driving the big van with all my stuff in. And uh, yeah, I, I just I just love the city. I'll explain later more of my reasons why I've decided to move to Cambridge. But yeah, it's, it's I just really like it here. that i'm moving into isn't ready until this afternoon we can't pick up the keys until later so i have got to cambridge early because we wanted to beat traffic but i'm going to be meeting up with my friends later to sign the tenancy agreement and um pick up keys continuing the tour of places Paige used to live we are down malcolm street and i used to live just up here as i've shown you guys before not moving in here again moving somewhere different this time but you know 
Good to see it. So I've just been unpacking my stuff at the house. We have picked up the keys. We are actually inside the house now. And this is all my stuff outside. Because there's a lot of it. This actually isn't all of it. There's, there's some already inside. I've been reunited with my bike. Look at it. We do love my bike. This is my new room. <laughs> oh, I'll do a proper tour once I'm properly unpacked. But very happy with it. There's just, there's just so much to unpack and I'm worried that my stuff might not all fit in here. Hello vlog, here is the state of my room. Yes, we are not fully unpacked. It is now evening and I'm going to bed. I'm just going to clear my bed and get in bed and unpack the rest tomorrow. I have unpacked most of my clothes now. They are in my wardrobe, on my clothes rack. It's a work in progress. And I'm now in bed and really, really, really tired. It's been such a long day. I got up early and I've been at it all day unpacking stuff and I'm just exhausted. And I've got such a long list of things to do, not just to do with the move. Life is just busy at the moment with work and revision for exams. So really hoping to get everything unpacked fully tomorrow morning and spend tomorrow afternoon doing some study. Fingers crossed that happens. Three out of four of us are moved into the house and I will introduce you to my housemates at some point. All of them are friends who I've known for a while who I met at university. But honestly, all I can say is we've been so lucky. Basically, I made the decision to move to Cambridge in early July, I want to say, and it's now mid-August. So it's been about a month and a half since I made that decision. Yes, I want to move to Cambridge to actually moving. And in hindsight, actually, that does seem like quite a fast turnaround. But basically, we were really struggling. We were putting in applications to rent a lot of properties and getting rejected by the landlord because lots of other groups applied and it's just competitive. But I have to say, it all worked out for the best because we've ended up in, I reckon probably the nicest property we considered. Somehow we got chosen out of the five groups that applied. Yes, it's been newly refurbished as I've probably mentioned earlier. Decent sized rooms, enough space for us all. Some of you might be wondering about my job. I'm still in the same job. I work for the same company. My company just has a team that is based in Cambridge, and that's why I've been allowed to move up here because I've managed to get an office transfer to the Cambridge office. So it's good news. I still get to work for the same company and get to know my colleagues and at the same time live with people who I know, live in a city which I know I like, live in a city which I feel safe in, living somewhere that's an easy commute into London. Whilst I may not be the biggest fan of London, I do find it kind of scary. It is a bit of a social hub, right? Like, I can go into London for social stuff. So yeah, there's, there's just options here. There's flexibility. And initially, I'm only tied down in Cambridge for a year. My tenancy agreement is for one year to start off with. I don't know what I'm going to do beyond that. I'm just going to take it as it comes, go with the flow, see what I enjoy. Anyway, I am really, really tired. So I'm going to get to sleep in my new double bed. This is the first time I've ever had a double bed. My bears are loving it. Oh, there is one issue. My curtain does not cover my window. Here is the issue. Here's the curtain. There's the window. Basically, they supplied the curtains, but we had to put them up ourselves. And yeah, at that point, I found, oh, this isn't really suitable. It also can only be drawn inwards rather than outwards because there's like a divider in the middle. So really, I need two of this sort of curtain, one each side that can be drawn. I don't know, I'm gonna figure that out tomorrow. Hey peeps, it's a new day and I am curtain shopping. 
Um, I feel like a proper adult. I'm by myself. Really, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm pretending to be knowledgeable and hope that I know what I'm looking for with the curtains. I found a pastel pink two curtain combo. Apparently they're blackout. They look okay. My only slight concern is that the drop on them is longer than the window. So I think they're gonna drag on the floor. And I mean, I could take them up, but that's quite a lot of effort. Also, I can only find eyelet ones and I'm worried they're not gonna fit the pole. I'm very indecisive. And with no one here to make the decision for me, it's, it's very difficult. I spent absolutely ages deciding, but I found some curtains I like. Hopefully they fit and I can figure out how to put them up, fingers crossed. Um, I've also done a food shop earlier today and I'm going to be cooking this evening, which will be interesting because my cooking really hasn't progressed since I last spoke to you guys and there's a lot to practice. This is our whiteboard where we have our to-do list. So we've got the stuff we've done, stuff to do. We've put a little prank one at the end there because we've got one housemate who hasn't arrived yet. It's just quite funny really, isn't it? And just like that, we have curtains. Ta-da! Big shout out to Ed's mom who helped me put my curtains up because I would not have managed it by myself. And also I had help from Ed and Jacob, so shout out to them as well. Oh yeah, by the way, my housemates, I haven't revealed my housemates. Ed, Jacob and Tim, you may recognize those names from previous vlogs. They will be milling around at some point. Jacob, can I introduce them to you now? Hello. Here is one of my Hello. housemates. <laughs> Welcome to the, the moving video. Thank you. How has your move been? It was really good. It's an amazing house. We yes. picked a really good house here. I'm very excited to be living here for at least uh, the next year. Woo! And I'm going to show them the kitchen. I haven't shown them outside the room utility room and look at this kitchen isn't it beautiful it is just beautiful we've got two ovens for all the master chef cooking we're going to be doing sun is streaming in there big fridge dishwasher this is amazing no more time wasted washing up when you can just shove it in the dishwasher sofa over here it's kind of our lounge area as well showed you this earlier oh yeah we saw tim tim came and dropped in just for a short time with his family just to see the house but he's not moving in yet introducing housemate number two hello my name's tim the whole pest control rats joke on the to-do list it kind of worked. I did. I think we did get them, didn't we? Like they definitely. I, mean, I, think, I think we. I think they did believe it for a second. Yeah. Like Ed's mom was like, "Oh, have you seen a rat?" <laughs> yeah. And then Tim was like, "Hmm, rats." Hmm. <laughs> like, I, think, I think he did believe it for a moment. Yeah. But... I think he also couldn't keep a straight face for too long. It was a funny joke and I think we leave it up there and see if any people comment on it because it's kind of funny. Lots of my stuff is unpacked now. There's still stuff on my bed that I need to unpack but I'm kind of going to get to that by the end of today. I did say that I was going to be fully unpacked by the end of this morning so I could study this afternoon. It hasn't happened. Oh well, I've got work tomorrow and I am going into the Cambridge office and meeting colleagues in the Cambridge office. So it's all go. I might cook this evening. First time. Well, I suppose we had, we had food yesterday evening in the kitchen, but it wasn't like proper cooking. It was just stuff you could shove in the microwave. Broccoli and bacon. And then <laughs> pesto. Mushroom, broccoli, bacon. Yay. Some pesto pasta Yay. in there somewhere. This is not. Yay. <laughs> and here is pretty much the finished room. I've almost finished unpacking. There's still a bit of junk I need to sort out, but we're pretty much there. I put my fairy lights up, as you can see, all over the back of the bed and then over the mantelpiece, my big light up pea that has not been out since early 2020. I've managed to put my Fairburn Cup rowing race prize on there as well. I think it's turned out well. Ta-da! I think I'm actually going to end this moving vlog here since 
it's the end of my moving weekend it's been really hectic obviously i've been enjoying seeing my friends my housemates who i'm moving in with again but i've also been unpacking and i brought a lot of stuff and i kept getting distracted while unpacking i'm happy with my room i feel like it feels nice and cozy and homely which is what i want this morning we were discussing things like a tv license and water bills and standing orders for paying rent it's all really real but we've literally all moved out into an actual house give the video a like if you enjoyed it comment down below if you've moved anywhere recently or have imminent moving plans we can share this moving journey together subscribe to my channel and follow me over on instagram as well and i'll see you guys soon with another video bye